Hi sisters, it's Jake here, and I'm back with another video. Before the video starts, I wanted to say thank you to all my patrons. I mailed out all my Polaroids. Most of you have gotten them already, and I've gotten a lot of positive feedback. You can listen to my podcast, you get a personalized video, you get your name right here. Definitely check it out. Happy Pride Month! Usually I film all my videos ahead of time and I'm recording this on June 17th. So this is my first video during the month of June. Now, personally, I'm not gay, even though I got this comment on my channel. <laughs> it's one of my favorite comments I've ever seen. Uh, it's also kind of like nice where it's like, instead of being like, you're gay or are you gay? Just, is this feller gay? And the answer is no. I've been with my lovely girlfriend for seven years. So today I'm going to do my part and look at corporate America's take on Pride Month. Now, this has been a thing that I've been noticing for years, whether it's Pride Month or Black History Month, somehow large brands have figured out how to make the most disingenuous posts of all time, trying to pander to an audience that is very aware of what they're doing. Now, I'm gonna start out with this video from Uber Eats called Eat With Pride, introducing the bottom friendly menu. <laughs> okay, let's see what they have to say. What are you eating this pride? Well, if you're a top, it seems like you can eat whatever you want. But if you're a bottom, you're expected to starve? Aww. Not this pride. Introducing the bottom friendly menu from Okay, Pumpkin. good, good. We teamed up with Dr. Evan Goldstein from Bespoke Surgical to bring you a menu of bottom friendly foods backed by science. <laughs> So you teamed up with a doctor to make a menu of bottom friendly items backed by science. The idea seems okay, does it? I don't know because this is a large company that is taking so much money from their workers. This ad probably cost more than most Uber Eats drivers will make in their lifetime. Also, I feel like the whole fruit and vegetable thing is so overplayed when it comes to like talking about sexual wellness. It's weird. <laughs> that Uber Eats is doing this. Also, you know they're not televising this. This is probably just like an online only thing because they're like, okay, we did our part, that's it. We're not putting this on a higher platform besides our YouTube channel. Who subscribed to Uber Eats YouTube channel? Insoluble fiber won't help you feel cute. So avoid okay. things like whole grains, wheat bran, cauliflower, potatoes, legumes. Hold up. Are you just fully diving into those beans? <laughs> what? Wait, wait, hold up. Are you just fully diving into those beans? What, what are you talking about, Uber Eats? I don't understand. When's the last time that anybody's walked into a club and gone straight for the beans? What? Hold up. Are you just diving into those beans? What the fuck? And I hate the little gasp afterwards. Diving into those beans? <gasps> Problem with these foods is they don't dissolve in water, which could cause a traffic jam in your digestive system, making a mess of your evening. Speaking of messy, it's a good idea to avoid dairy. I cannot handle lactose right now. Look at her. Why'd you have to do that? Is this supposed to be educational or is this supposed to be like offensive? What are you doing? The most stereotypical everything going on. Let's watch that again. I cannot handle lactose right now. Look at her. Girl, what are you doing? Why are we adding race to this? You can tell what color they're supposed to be. I, I feel like this is a little disconnected. I feel like the guy who made this like stop motion thing is like, okay, what do gay people like? It's beans, it's lactose, and uh, they love fiber. And it's like, I mean, what are you doing? If you're going to eat something insoluble, give your body about 24 hours to process all of it. Gross. Gross! Why are we doing this? Why do we have just a fucking peach right here? Eat me. Soluble fibers and protein are the key to having some good, clean fun. These all digest easily and slowly while feeding your good gut bacteria, which makes sushi a great bottom-friendly option. What? Had to throw that in. Uber Eats just isn't going to say you need nuts, white rice, citrus, peas, and fish. I dare you to find a restaurant on the Uber Eats app that has nuts, white rice, citrus, peas, and fish. But of course they shoehorned in a little plug. You know what? There are a lot of sushi restaurants that could help you out. There's no right or wrong way to bottom, but if you're planning on- <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what? 
Is there supposed to be a wrong way to bottom? What are you talking about? But if you're planning on getting peachy this pride, the bottom-friendly menu on Postmates has the kinds of foods that can keep you feeling good. Are you organic? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? <laughs> Am I stupid? Are you organic? What? I also like this thing at the bottom that says, not intended as a substitute for medical advice. Always consult your physician before undertaking a new health regimen. Uber Eats. Uber Eats, thank you for that. You know what? Thank you for that warning. That makes sense. Hold the phone. You think that's the end of the commercial, right? Good. Are you organic? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A donation was made to the Okra Project, a black woman-led collective that addresses food insecurity, mental health, and financial barriers faced by the trans community. Okay, well that's good that they're donating to the Okra Project. Are you not going to mention how much it was? I could donate to them. I could give them a dollar. Uber is a multi-billion dollar company and they're like, we did donate to the Okra Project. Also, eat some okra. What? Wow, well that was fascinating. So overall, Uber Eats is really making a difference. I also wanna go through what some of the other large companies are doing for Pride. So we've got Shein. <laughs> okay, so we've got Book, Tank Top Shorts, Kids Number and Rainbow Print Floor. Huh, hmm, I, <laughs> they really did do the bare minimum. Oh, I understand now. None of this is pride related. They just searched rainbow. <laughs> okay, good. Anything that's rainbow is in here. Kids rainbow print wall sticker. Always love, chase your dream, believe yourself. You are the best, <laughs> never stop learning. Okay. Oh, a dog tag, good. Just something that says, I love you. I like these graphic tees, let me see. Graphic tees? Shirt. That is not really a shirt. I just think it's ironic to have like Shein do a large campaign for all of their rainbow stuff. And you know that they're using like children to make their clothing. Like sure, it's good that you're bringing awareness to Pride Month, but also like bring awareness to what you're doing in your factories as well, because what you're doing for Pride Month is literally nothing. Then we've got this tweet from Elon Musk. Tesla scores a hundred out of a hundred for seventh year in a row for L. LGBTQ equality. Hmm. A hundred out of a hundred. I'm curious to know if he scored this way because he doesn't have anybody in his company who identifies as that. Let's see. Workplace quality index. I swear like a couple days before Elon tweeted like some really homophobic stuff. Let me try to find it. Oh, well, there we go. Because under this tweet, he responded with, we're trying to accelerate sustainable energy. So what matters is how much someone can contribute to that goal, okay? Personal choices are your own and are respected. Personal choices? It's a choice to be gay. It's a choice. <laughs> oh my God, that's awesome. Oh, okay. So Burger King Austria is here <laughs> to make the Pride Whopper, all right? What do you think the Pride Whopper is? Do you think they're gonna have some food coloring and make it rainbow? No, no, no. They're are going to just take the tops of buns and the bottoms of buns and switch them around. Thank you, Burger King, for putting a positive light on Pride Month and not just fucking with your burgers. <laughs> I feel like this is the least you could do. Time to be proud. Here's the top and bottoms of buns. Also, I think it's really funny because whoever gets the one with the top buns is pretty lucky, right? You get the sesame seeds, you get all that. Whoever gets the one with the bottom buns, like nobody likes the bottom buns. So like that really sucks. But this is Burger King's way of proving it's okay to like the same as you, right? So uh, thank you, Burger King Austria. Also, only in Austria, if you're going to do this, do this throughout the whole fucking chain. Now this one is one of my favorites. US Marines, now I am surprised that they even posted anything like this, but the US Marines posted. Throughout June, the US Marine Corps takes pride in recognizing and honoring the contributions of our LGBTQ service members. We remain committed to following fostering an environment free from discrimination and defend the values of treating all equally with dignity and respect. Hashtag Pride Month, hashtag USMC. Now, I don't know what this means. <laughs> Is this all they did, right? They just made a graphic of a helmet that says proud to serve, probably written over on like, you know, like on your iPhone where you can draw with your finger over a photo. That's absolutely what this is. And then took bullet casings and made them rainbow.
So while you're killing innocent people, at least you can show your pride. You know what I mean? It's- <laughs> that's so fucking crazy to me. I also found this tweet of Walmart's pride shirts, and these are pretty good. This one is just a dinosaur with a pride flag, and it's called T-Stars Men's LGBT Clothing T-Rex RAR Gay Lesbian Rights Support Pride Parade. Okay. T-Rex RAR. Good. I'm glad that they know how to market to their, their audience. What? I may be straight, but I don't hate. You know what? I'll get it. <laughs> Maybe that's what I need. Maybe I should have worn that for this video. I may be straight, but I don't hate. Oh, okay. <laughs> We've got the American flag, but with rainbow. I'm curious to know how many people have purchased this. Usually it's like blue. And then maybe it says like lives matter. But this is really interesting to me because I don't picture anybody wearing this. Okay, we're working on some puns. Uh, so <laughs> this is again from T-Stars, the brand that we know and love. And it says is more. Huh, okay, good, 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 good. So we're supportive of lesbian rights. Good. Honestly, if I saw this, I would think that somebody was like making a joke out of it. And I think that's what T-Stars is doing. <laughs> okay. Homosexualian. Okay. I, uh, I feel like this will do more harm than good. Homosexualian. Are we calling all homosexual people aliens? I don't know. And then this is also a really good one. Come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> come out wherever you are. Now, come out now. Imagine people reading this and going, okay, I'm doing it. I, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Also, come out, come out, wherever you are. With all caps, what are you doing? Wherever you are. Okay, fucking relax. And then here's the last one. I'm gay and it's okay, New York. <laughs> I wonder how many sales this has. I'm gay and it's okay. First of all, I don't picture anybody wearing that. And then you're only allowed to wear it if you're from New York or have been to New York. I'm gay and it's okay, New York. Good. And I've got two more examples from brands that really warm my heart. This is from Bud Light. And it says, LGBTQ, let's grab beers tonight, queens. <laughs> Some exec was forced to watch one episode of RuPaul's Drag Race and is now like, okay, I figured it out. We're going to make this bottle rainbow and then change how people identify. <laughs> if people are like, I identify with the LGBTQ community and somebody saw this, they'd be like, let's grab beers tonight, Queens? What are you talking about? <laughs> and then I would say uh, my favorite just because they did this. You know what I mean? They had the guts to post this with a history of abusing people in the LGBTQ community. ICE! ICE, you know, like immigration enforcement? Yeah, uh, so they posted, during Pride Month, we recognize our LGBTQ plus employees, reflect on the trials that their community has endured and rejoice with them in the triumphs of those who have bravely fought and continue to fight for full equality. And then they really put their ISOCs all into this pride graphic. Somebody searched trans people dying in ICE custody and, uh, and there's a lot of examples. Huh, ICE. I've been a social media manager in the past and I don't think I would social media manage for ICE or the US military, but at this point, don't. Don't post anything because it's so awful and contradictory to what you've done outside of this month that it doesn't mean anything. It's fascinating to me that companies will basically be like, I only like gay people in June. And then other people are like, yes, yes, that's good. Congratulations for posting. What? I feel like at this point, what what are you doing? What's, what's the point of any of this? If you're iced and you've proven that you aren't supportive of a community, why pretend to support them in the month that is theirs. It's so fucking mind numbing. If you wanna support people throughout Pride Month, I'll put some charities below to donate to. In the end, to anybody who's watching who is in the LGBTQ plus community, I support you. Reach out to me if you need anything and I will talk to you all later. Bye.